Sponge bath. Preparation of your work area and materials earlier will save your time and energy. To check on the water temperature, you can do the elbow test and it should be 38 to 40.5 degrees Celsius. Gloves. Rubber sheet. Kidney basin. Hypoallergenic soap. Cotton balls. Baby wipes. Thermometer, operative sponge or OS, pick up forceps, alcohol, sterilized water, betadine, basin, towel, baby's clothes. Do the hand washing. This is to prevent contamination and the spread of infection. Wear your gloves. Confirm with your superior how procedure is to be done and if there's any precautions to be aware of. Asking your supervisor for assistance or instruction will give you proper and better execution of care to the infant. Check room temperature. It should be warm and comfortable for the baby. Turn off any cooling agents such as air conditioning unit or electric fan. This will keep the baby from chilling. Place the baby on a bath towel with rubber sheet beneath it. Check the baby's vital signs, especially the body temperature, as well as the skin condition of the baby. Check the overall condition of the baby prior to procedure. This is to determine any contraindication for the procedure such as fever or skin rashes or presence of open wound. Leaving his her clothing, begin cleansing the eyes of the baby using a cotton ball dumped with sterile water from inner canthus to outer canthus. Again, that's inner canthus to outer canthus. Forehead to nose. Forehead to nose. Cheek to chin. Cheek to chin. Forehead to chin. Forehead to chin. We can also do small c. And then big c. Another small C on the other side. And another big C again on the other side. We can also do the S. And the inverted S. Dry the baby's face. Clean the nose of the baby using cotton pads to remove secretion. Clean the ears from the external pinna and on the back of the ear. The external pinna again and then the back of the ear. Using a clean cloth, dip it on a sterile water to clean the mouth of the baby. From upper to lower palate, the inner cheek, the tongue, and the lips. Using a clean towel or clean cloth, 
wash the baby's head. This is just a pure water. And then we're going to wash it again using a water with soap. And the last basin is for the final wash. And then, of course, don't forget to pat dry. Clean also the neck of the baby three times from a pure water and then a water with a soap again. And then the final water. Unwrap the baby. Cover the baby using a towel to avoid chilling. Clean the arm from distal to proximal to promote venous return. And going to axilla. We would need to do this three times as well. And then, of course, don't forget to pot dry the baby. Or his, her arm. Then place it back on the towel to cover it. And just show off again the other arm. Parts that are to be cleaned are the one that should be exposed while covering those that are not in order to prevent the baby from getting cold. Change the water after cleaning the baby's arm. Clean the chest as well for three times.
Clean also the back of the baby three times. We may do longitudinal motion. We may also do the circular motion. In removing the diaper, we may use it to remove or scrape the fecal material. And of course, we can also use tissue wipes to remove the excess fecal material. Do also the same thing on the lower extremities. Clean it three times from distal to proximal. And then pat dry. In cleaning the genital, since this is a baby boy, we need to retract the purpose as previously retracted by the physician. Do it gently and clean from the external urethral meatus using a cotton ball in a circling fashion down to a penile shaft. Use one cotton ball for each wipe. Clean the testicles as well as the anal area. Then pat dry. Again. Retract the prepuce, clean it from tip, in circling motion going down the penile shaft, going through the testis and then the anal. Just do it for three times. For a baby girl, we can do clean the genital area in two different ways. So first we need to retract vulva. And so this is the syphysis pubis. We can do the seventh stroke for three times. And for the last we can do the lateral second way is from the lateral area center going to distal then center again going to the distal area since we're done we can remove the gloves And lastly, do the cord care using a cotton ball dumped with betadine. 
since we don't have our gloves anymore, we're going to use the sterile pickup forcep. And do clean the cord for three times. The other hand is touching only the umbilical clamp. Using a sterilized operative sponge, we will be going to secure the cord and we're going to make it like one by one. Check the baby's temperature. Since we're done, it's time to wrap the baby. Put the diaper. Put the infant's arm through the sleeve by slipping your fingers through the end of the sleeves and pull the infant's hand and arm gently through the armhole. Tie or button the shirt. Put on the mittens on both hands of the baby to prevent the baby from scratching his or her face and thumb sucking. Mittens should also be checked for the baby's safety. Make sure there is no thread. It may cut the baby's finger.
put on pajamas than by gathering it and slipping your fingers through the holes and gently pulling baby's foot through it as in the manner of wearing the leaves of baby's shirt put on socks or booties to add warmth and should be a bit bigger than infant's foot to allow movement Gently lift the baby and place him or her on the center of the blanket. Then fold the lower corner of the blanket over the legs and feet and over the trunk. Fold the two sides of the blanket over the arms and chest. Make sure to wrap the baby adequately but not too tight to keep him her warm. Put the baby back on his her crib and please don't forget to do the aftercare now perform the hand washing and do your documentation record vital signs and any unusual reactions from the baby